For more on the story, Adrian Bono, founder and CEO of the Latin American news website The Bubble, joins us now from Madrid. Adrian, this was a very tight vote, wasn't it? Is the senator's decision to reject this bill, though, reflective of Argentinian society as a whole, do you think? Well, it's a, it's a good question, and I would say that the answer is uh, unfortunately no. According to recent polls in Argentina, over 60 percent of the population were in favor of this bill. They were in favor of decriminalizing abortion um, throughout the country. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there was a, a region of Argentina, I would say the northern region, uh, with the most uh, uh, Catholic provinces in which uh, senators just uh, rejected it completely and said that there was no way that they could uh, support a bill like this. Uh, the question is now what happens next, considering um, how much hype there is in the country and how much the feminist movement that woke up in the last three years, I would say, um, helped push for this bill. Was there any pressure, do you think, from the Catholic Church with Pope Francis, an Argentinian, stating his opposition to the bill before it was voted on? Well, the Catholic Church uh, was uh, very, very vocal about this. Um, you had uh, Cardinal Mario Poli in the city of Buenos Aires, who was actively urging people to go out there and protest, to take to the streets, to reject this bill, organizing people in marches um, and NGOs to work together with them. Um, they put a lot of pressure on senators, too, on uh, people in the lower house uh, a couple of months ago, too, but the bill was passed there. So um, they put all their efforts now in uh, making sure that senators voted against it. This is. Um, this is a huge upset for um, the Argentine population, and it has now sort of like, sort of like awoken a new movement that is urging um, for the separation of church and state. Let's not forget that while Argentina is, is uh, officially a Catholic country, it's in the, in the uh, country's constitution. So now a lot of people are urging for uh, modifying the constitution so that Argentina uh, is no longer considered officially a Catholic state, and the Catholic Church gets um, tax money um, from the government. Interesting to see if that will play out. Adrian Bono, thank you so much for joining us.